All right, we're in the camper and I have a fluorescent light in the back that's stock and I got one in the front that's stock and I really rarely use these when I'm boondocking. So I have an LED next to that. I don't want to take the whole fixture out because of the holes and whatnot. And then you see my other videos, I installed these lights right here. This light right here, very nice fixture. And um, I got two up in the bed area, one here, which is the, this light, which has a USB charging port, all LEDs. And for the nighttime, you see in one of my videos, I had a switch here. I have a blue light here and a blue light there. And these lights, this is the style right here. You see my last video. I'll post a link how to get them on Amazon. I believe they're like 15 bucks for a pack of four. They have a 3M tape in the back. Awesome lights. I use these as an additional um, brake light in my boat trailer to add to the brightness in the rear. I use these for the, uh, the night light here. And now, because my fluorescent light went out, I don't, I ordered the wrong size. And the 18 inches were 60 bucks, I believe, for four or two. I'm not even sure. But they weren't going to come until after Memorial Weekend. And I need a light above my sink. So what I did is I kept, left everything pretty much stock with the exception is I cut the power here. You know, the negative and the positive here that comes out from the, uh, the camper, from the ceiling. And I just left all these other wires because if you do the T8 uh, modification, you're going to have to use some of these wires here. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. I might just be okay with this right here. So I got the ground coming out and the positive coming out. Cut this wire that was on the ballast and I just connected these two, you know, power and ground. That's it with this style of light. Very easy. So just take a little acetone real quick, a little alcohol, clean the metal, stick it on there, connect a couple wires, and that's that. So I'm going to put it together and show you how it looks when it's all buttoned up. So that's the ballast cover on. Um, I'll turn the light on real quick. These are pretty bright too. And then let me put the cover on. And there you go. So now I have light above my sink for the holiday weekend. And honestly, this is pretty nice and bright. It's a nice light too. It's not it's not too bright. It's just actually perfect. It's bright or it's bright, not bright. Pick one. It's not that bright, but it's perfect compared to uh, this fluorescent stuff. Um, these draw a lot of power. So... Anyways, not too bad for, I believe it was 15 bucks. Again, I'll share the link of where I get these lights, indoor, outdoor. I, get, I use them on my boat trailer. I use them in here, you know, for the night light. So check my other videos, you can see how, how I did that. And then again, this, this, this light right here is probably the best. The USB charging port way up there in the corner of the bed. Charge your phone. Anyways, it's been a while since I made a video, so hope you enjoyed this and happy camping, y'all.